Hey guys, um, my name is Brielle and I'm a professional dog trainer and I train service dogs. And today I am going to show you guys how to train crying response or like a depressive episode response um, in psychiatric service dogs. So if you guys don't know, that is my roommate, Michaela, and that is her service dog and training, Sunshine. And um, I trained her past, her previous service dog to do this, but obviously Sunshine has new memories, which is very frustrating. I kind of wish she could just carry over, uh, but she does not. So that means that I have to, <laughs> we have to retrain everything. So um, we have trained a couple things so far, but crying response is a big one. And um, we're going to talk to Michaela a little bit about what she wants in that task. I'm hoping that she will nudge my hands out of the way so I have that interruption so that reminds me to like calm down. Um, and then we'll go into like DPT or a cuddle session. I know cuddling is not a task, but with Toby, it was DPT or he would just automatically like jump on the bed. Okay, so in terms of so in order to start training this, open your hands. We are going to put some kibble or treats or whatever in your hand, and then you are going to hold them up against your face and pretend like you're crying. So make the noises and all that, and then Sunshine's gonna know where those treats are, and she's gonna attempt to get them from you. That was good. And we're gonna use a clicker for this so that we can make sure that we are telling Sunshine when she's doing it correctly. So a clicker just sort of marks like a yes behavior. I would suggest doing clicker training prior to this because if you start using a clicker for absolutely no reason um, during this time, it's gonna be really confusing for them. So start it with some other things first. So Michaela's gonna take the treats in her hand and she is going to make sure that Sunshine knows that they're there, which she does. And then she's going to begin her like crying where she puts her hands up to her face. And once yeah. Sunshine gives the correct response, I'm going to click on the clicker like that. And the correct response right now that we're looking for is just kind of any interaction. Um, so if she, you know, goes up to Michaela, notices where the treats are, tries to get them, if she paws, if she nudges, whatever, we're gonna view that as correct. Yes. That was good. So usually um, it's my personal preference for a dog to use their muzzle or their nose um, in order to do the interruption because with the paws, it's kind of harsh and it scratches, so. <laughs> she fell off of her stool. I'm gonna move that just for safety's sake. And you're gonna do this motion a bunch of times where basically you put the ah, treats back there ah, for every single motion, um, for every single time, and you try it a bunch of times. So keep going for a little bit. Oh, good job. And Sunshine is really smart, so this is something that she picks up, you know, she picks up stuff pretty easily. So if your dog, oh, good job. If your dog struggles with things, like maybe they learn a little bit slower, you might not get this response as quickly. She literally only did it one time before I turned the camera on, so. Good job. So I'm clicking at the, basically the exact moment that she is doing it correctly. So I will kind of try and show you guys that. Ivy. <laughs> so as you guys see when I clicked, I hope so. <laughs> Nobody's going to respond to me, so I guess I'll never know. Sunshine, come here. Come. Okay. Now you can do it. Good job. 
So it is good to have a second person to use the clicker for you, but if you don't, you can always use the clicker in the other hand that doesn't have the treats in it. So why don't you try it without the treats? Obviously, for those of you at home, I would suggest maybe doing it like a bunch more times before you move on to doing it without treats. So obviously that's moving pretty fast, but Sunshine is pretty smart and we've done similar interruption tasks before. So, um, yes, like Good that. Job. So, um, she, she would, you know, catch on pretty easily to this. So, yes. Good job. Yeah. Good job. That was in my nostrils. And we're just using her regular dinner kibble. She gets a cup of kibble for um, breakfast and dinner, and she gets trained for each meal. So we're just using one of those for each session. Yes. Sunshine, come. Come here. Come, 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 come. Down. Uh-uh. Come. Sunshine, come. Come. She needs an alert. Sunshine, come. Down. Down. Stay. Okay, now do it. So basically what I just did is you can kind of show them, you can kind of have them kind of move into maybe they're in another room and they just have to focus on the sound or maybe they're, you know, placed somewhere or in a downstay somewhere where it's going to be more difficult and they have to make the choice to get up. What is she going to do? Good job. I never talked to Toby that without that. Sunshine, come. Come, 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 come. Sunshine, come. Sunshine, come. Down. Down. Stay. So I will say this is one of the easier tasks to train. A lot of the psychiatric tasks, to be honest, are, are easier to train than like medical alerts and mobility. Um, so we're kind of knocking those out first, especially since Mi Michaela's main disabling condition is... <laughs> especially since Michaela's main disabling condition is psychiatric. So, um, What? <laughs> <laughs> okay, I want you to fake her out a couple of times, just kind of. All right, now do it. So the important part of adding that afterwards is basically faking her out, so making like similar noises, but not the same thing. So making similar noises that might sound similar, but are different, um, so that basically you're making sure that she knows exactly what to do. Teaching your dog like to make sure that they know the specific sound that you're looking for, or the specific action of like covering your face with your hands, that's really important. So. So after you train the initial command and they've got it down pretty solid, making sure that when you do something similar, they don't respond is pretty important. So the nice thing about what Sunshine did, basically looking at me kind of like, hey, what am I supposed to be doing, is that it tells me that she isn't ready to move on to that step yet. She wants to kind of stay where she's at for a little bit, and we're going to try, we're going to keep doing repetition on just like when she can see Michaela so that she knows that what she's supposed to be doing. And then eventually we'll move on to a point where she can't see her, and Michaela does the, like, crying, and then 
Sunshine would be then expected to go get her, but right now we're not at that point. Um, again, this is a pretty quick, this is a pretty quick task to train. Um, I hope that this makes sense. I, I hope that this makes sense. Basically just, I'm going to do a quick overview here. So you start out with having the treats behind your hands and putting your hands up to your face and making that crying sound, um, whatever sound you make when you cry. <laughs> See, this all sounds really sad. Um, and then um, when they come up and do the sort of interaction that you're looking for, so like pawing or if they're nuzzling with, your, with their nose, you click and then you open your hand and give them the treats. Um, and then after that, you can move on to putting to not having treats behind your hands and just doing it with with just your hands and the sound um and and not having treats back there if they still do it you still want to click and give treats right away but um you can have the treat in a bowl to the side of you or in a treat pouch that kind of thing and then after that point you can move into having them be in like a down stay and getting up from that and then doing the task and doing the the interruption um and then even further after that, once they've got that down really, really well, you can move to them basically not being able to yes. see you. And so they're only working on the um, sound part of it instead of also being able to see it. you put your hands up to your face. And then after that, basically the task is pretty much fully trained. It's just proofing. So um, I hope that that makes sense to you guys. Um, and... I hope that this video was helpful. I know it was really short, but um, you guys have been asking for some more how-to task videos. And I told you that once Sunshine started learning tasks, I would show you, but I haven't really showed you guys that for any of them yet. So, yay. So this is the first one and I hope you guys um, are enjoying this. What other tasks do you want to Stay. see me train? So, Stay. Uh -uh, uh -uh. see you guys Stay. in whatever I make next. Bye. Bye.